All right, so I'm Pete Malinverney, uh, Chair of JS Studies here at Purchase College, and I'm with two of our uh, wonderful young JS Studies students, uh, both of whom are have just recently been named our newest uh, James Moody Scholars. Uh, James Moody was a great personage in our music, um, brilliant musician, and perhaps more important, a good person, a person who was a real citizen of the world, who was at all times kind and supportive of people, um, whether he needed them or not. He was just a plain old good person. And we feel that uh, these two young men uh, exemplify that model in that they're both terrific players, great musicians, good writers, good arrangers, and also care for each other, uh, as all our students do. So first, on uh, our left here, we'll talk to uh, Nick Massimo. Nick, just tell us a little bit about where you're from, what brought you to purchase, why you love jazz, and, and how you're feeling these days. So I'm from Syosset, New York. It's uh, in Nassau County on Long Island. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I play the tenor sax. Um, I came to purchase based on uh, you know the affordable price of the, compared to so many other schools and the esteemed faculty that, you know, that works here. And it was, it was inspiring to see so many graduates come out of the school working and, and with their skill and, and just amazing technique it was, you know, it really dro like drove me to come here and, and, and study with those same faculty members that influenced them. Well, uh, tell me, so who are you working with now? Who is your teacher now? I'm studying with Gary Smolian uh -huh. at the moment. Great. And, uh, he's, he's a great, uh, Great musician and uh, a good teacher, right? Absolutely. Yeah. The best. Yeah. And how about uh, the your experience playing in groups, combos, big bands, et cetera? How have those been for you? It's amazing. It's definitely been it, great experiences working with so many professional musicians and uh, and so many talented kids my age that, you know, I wish I would have had the chance to work with even earlier in my life. But um, it's introduced me to so many new ideas with ensemble playing, blending, and and so many other ideas too, you know. Great, great, thanks. So let's go over to uh, Hunter Pullen here, who is a baritone saxophone player. Uh, Hunter, I, where are you from? Uh, I, I come from, from Nyack, New York. It's um, nearby. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about what brought you to us. We're very happy you're, you're both here. Um, but tell, tell me a little bit about that, if you would, Hunter. Um, what brought me here? Yeah. Um, well, I uh, I came and uh, visited a few times. I was I was really eager to 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 study under Gary Smullyan, also like like Nick and um and um and while I was here, like I, I just fell in love with like the community and and like how how like um helpful everyone was and how um how eager everyone was to like learn and like like learn from one another and like teach one another and it, and I I thought that was a I thought I thought it was a really great environment to 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 spend my time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one thing we're most proud of is that everybody supports each other, you know. That's it's rare enough in this world let alone the jazz business. So we're really happy about it. So just maybe each of you give me a little something on what it means to be a Moody scholar. Uh Nick, you go first. I think something that stands out to me is is being being a, a professional jazz musician isn't about necessarily what you play, how well you know, how good of a player you are. It's more about how you treat other people, and uh, and how 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 it is to work with you. You can't you. I don't think when uh, you talk about these like jazz giants, you know, obviously they were fantastic players, but what made them great, you know, people to work with was their personalities and their their ethics and and. Just how much they love the music, and especially James Moody was somebody that's you know exemplified those qualities. I'm with you. Lives. I'm with you. How about you, Hunter? What's it? What What did it feel like to learn that you were named a Moody Scholar? Um, I was. Uh, I, I felt very honored, very honored um, to be selected. Um, it because um it um it it really. It really helped me um, get closer with like the music. I feel like, huh? That's like, cool. Um, it helped me learn like, like a like a whole new way to like 
to fall in love with the music and for the music to like bring joy into my life. Wow. That makes through sense. like through like trying to trying to follow the trying to follow like the the legacy yeah of James Moody. Yeah, he set a great example for us all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. So we're going to do a little playing now. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> keep that part in. <laughs> right, so I'll give you a little four out. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.